Welcome back to W Photoshop CC. In this tutorial, we're going to explore batch rendering. So, batch rendering basically allows you to uh, apply actions to multiple photos, and basically, um, it's for you know production work, basically. So, in the last tutorial, we created an action to reduce one of these size images to uh, 700 pixels in width. So uh, it started out as four th over 4,000 pixels in width, and we created that action. So now we're going to try and bring in a batch of photos. So in order to do this, we're going to open up Bridge, which I already have open here. And uh, Bridge comes with Photoshop um, and the Adobe Cloud. So it's sort of a file management system. But basically, I have here, I have three photos, and they're each one is, if I click on one, is that 4,752 pixels in width. So each one will be resized exactly the same. So I'm gonna hold the shift key, click on one, click on the last one. And basically I'll have them all selected. And then I go to the tools menu, go down to Photoshop and choose batch. And so tools, Photoshop, batch and click. And that'll open up the batch window here. So in here you have actions and it's set to default actions here which there are several, you know, whatever actions you have saved on your, your computer. Here's the last one I created, which was 700 pixels wide. So I'm gonna select that. The source is the bridge folder, which is what we opened up. So that's correct, we wanna have that. Over here on the right, this is very important. This, uh, this is the file destination. So you wanna click in here and choose where do you want these images to lie. And basically, I have this folder titled Done. So I'm just clicking on that and clicking OK. OK. So here's the path you can see for that. Now, this override command is very important if you uh, basically keep it checked. So if I uncheck it and hover over it, it'll tell you as I click on it. Uh, when this option is on, files will be saved to the decision folder only by save as steps in the action. So if there are no save or save as steps, no files will be saved. And I actually didn't have a save as step in the action. So it's very important that I keep this unchecked. Otherwise, they just wouldn't do anything. It would just, you know, go through the whole process and then nothing would be saved, which would be kind of ridiculous. So uh, it's just really important. If you have a save as command as part of the action, then you can just check this little box. But I didn't do that. so. Real important there. Uh, these categories here basically are different things for the file naming convention. So by default, this is set to none. And then you just click in here and you can choose document name, highlight it. And, and this is a series of photos from Salt Lake. So I'm just gonna call it Salt Lake here. The next one is it's, it has a digit number. So one digit serial number or a two digit serial number. You can see there's zero one. Uh, and basically what this does is I'm going back to digital one here. Uh, it, it, it basically creates a numbering system. So the first photo will be called Salt Lake one, next one Salt Lake two, and the third one Salt Lake three. You need to have an extension in order for this to work. So by default, it's showing a .gif here, but it's gonna be a JPEG because they're photos. Uh, down here, you can add additional ones. So if you wanna include the date or other sort of metadata stuff, you can. I'm gonna leave these all as none. And uh, you can start with a different number, like you start at five and it would start with Salt Lake number five. I'm gonna start at Salt Lake number one by clicking on there. And basically all I gotta do is click okay. Now once I do this, what's gonna happen is it's gonna run through the process of reduction and then bring up my JPEG options. The reason why I prefer this is because I can go through and change these if I want. Maybe I want them not to be a maximum of 12 for the size, maybe I wanna reduce the size here. You can, of course, include this as part of your action, but I didn't do that. So uh, I like to have it 12, maximum large, baseline optimize, and click OK. And so it'll do the next one, boom. And all I have to do now is just click OK because it keeps the same uh, JPEG steps. And of course, if you already apply that action, then you don't have to worry about that. Now I just go File Open and find my folder here, which has the folder done. You can see Salt Lake 1, 2, and 3. I'll just open up 3 here click open and you can go to image size and you will see now that it is 700 for width by 467 and it's only about a thousand K there so looking pretty good so that's the basic introduction to creating batch rendering in Adobe Photoshop CC until next time cheers